Hello and welcome back. If you're new, hi, my name is Brittany and welcome. I'm looking like a hot mess express because as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm taking you along and me getting ready for our little family photo shoot session that we have later on today. I was debating how I wanted to do my hair. I was bouncing between straight hair or like wave hair and I leaned more to like the wavy hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this. If you're interested, then let's on to the video. Here is the hair. It's looking kind of wild because it is kind of wild. I'm not gonna have it down like this. I never like my hair wavy and like parted. So I don't know if I'm gonna be doing it like on the side or like kind of just pin it back. I'm not sure, but I'm just happy. I'm like really hot. I'm probably red right now. I am red right now. I'm like myself in a viewfinder and oh my goodness, I am red. But anyways, I'm, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. Um, it's 2.35. PM. I'm gonna start my makeup around four o'clock. So it'll give me a window from four to six to get ready and all that. So I'm excited. What what? Hi! Alright, so I'm here in beauty room and I am about to do my makeup and I'm excited. I'm gonna go super glam and I'm very excited because I really haven't done a very super glam look in a very long time. Makeup makes me excited. Everything that I will be using are products that I know will hold up my makeup and it's not so much hot today but like even if it was in hot weather it would it will hold up it is currently like 50 something degrees I am kind of scared in a way because I am wearing a dress I just don't know I'm just terrified I'll just leave it at that the primer that I'm gonna be using is my elf pity primer and this thing is so good. I love it. So I'm basically putting it everywhere to fill in my pores. I don't have very large pores, but I do want my pores to be like obviously filled in. I'm excited for today. So basically, long story short, how we got this photo shoot going was a spouse moved here recently and she's a photographer. So she reached out to the like community, Facebook group, whatever we have going on. And she asked if anybody will be interested in like being like models to help like update her profile. And I was like, it's zero cost to us. And in return, we get 10 digital, digital, digital shots. We really haven't done a photo shoot since like maybe our engagement slash wedding, which was about almost four years. So I'm excited. I'm so excited. I do have the At For Sight ColourPop and Raw Beauty Crispy Palette. I'm kind of, I can't even do something with these tones. Ooh, I don't know. But then I also have the Becky G and ColourPop Salvaje palette. I don't know what to do. But then, <laughs> I also have the Pure, the Pure and the Raw Brady Crispy palette. She talks to me. I think I'm gonna go with this one, probably jump into this one. I'm not sure, but, but yeah. Before I do that, I do want to prime the eyes and I'm just going to go in with my concealer. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade 365 Cashew. I like her. I like her. I like her. I'm going to start off by going in with Puffball and I'm going to apply that on the crease. I'm also kind of like bringing it up at the corner. So I'm not routing it or anything. I'm just literally like trying to bring it up to kind of make that like hat eye effect. I have very small eyes, I feel like. I know people are like, oh my gosh, you have big eyes. I, where? I don't see it. And then I'm also putting the shadow a little bit more above my natural crease, again, for that same reason. Now, if you have hooded eyes or you have very small eyes, my advice and suggestion will be creating a fake crease. And you do that by applying the eyeshadow above the crease so that way when we do cut it out, you have a new crease. And then 
like I said, like I'm flickering it out. I do want to add a bit more warmth and I do want to add like just a little pop of color. So I'm going to go into Chanterelle. I hope I'm saying that right, but it's this yellow mustardy color right there. And I'm going to be applying that on the crease as well. A beautiful day in a sense that the sun is out i mean there's kind of wind but you know every time that the sun is out here in washington these people take advantage of it i'm one of those people as well like we take advantage of it especially because yesterday was kind of like a gloomy day so you see how i kind of gave like a little bit of a yellow undertone that's kind of like what i wanted i'm actually gonna go into this because i want something a bit more dark i'm gonna go into b I'm gonna go ahead and use the e.l.f. liquid glitter in the shade Fruity Birdie and I'm gonna cut my crease with this. I'm only doing three-fourths of the eye. I just realized like I'm not being chatty in this little chit chat. I'm so sorry, I'm like very focused on the eyes right now. But as I did mention earlier in the video, I'm excited because this is literally our first photo shoot in a while and it's our first photo shoot here in Washington and I am excited. If you've been to Washington, you know how beautiful and gorgeous it is out here. So I'm excited to like have photos with the forest and everything. I'm so excited. Do I recommend that when you do add this, let it dry a little before you open your eyes completely because it will transfer. I learned that the hard way. I do want to top it off with the same product but in the shade 24k i didn't want to go in with this fully because i don't want it to be like a very golden look lightly tap that like in the middle maybe i have to figure that one out hold on <gasps> oh i do like that i do like that but yeah, I can't wait to see like what she has in mind, what she has envisioned. We did have to sign like a little, what's what I'm looking for? Like contract, there you go. And basically it was her telling us that like she has to, like she has to approve everything from like the outfit to whatnot. And so the outfit basically we did was like take a photo, send it to her and we got the okay or not. Frank didn't get the okay the first time. We did like blue flannel type of thing and like it was just too clashy clashy with my dress. So she gave us options and we went with the Simon and yeah. Go into B and apply that on the outer corner. I can literally use like other brushes but I really truly don't want to. Now I do want to let you know what I'm doing is because I do want to create that cat eye effect. I am going at it in an angle. I'm gonna be using my all-time favorite, super like 10 out of 10 recommend foundation, and it is the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation in the shade Barcelona. I use this in our Puerto Rico and Chicago trip during summer. I know if like, you've heard that story from me multiple times, but it's because literally that good. Highly recommend. But what I'm trying to get at is she's she lasted. In my recent makeup haul somewhere over here, I did pick this up. This is the NARS Radiant Concealer. And I figured, marry them together, right? And then with the concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild bronzer stick in the shade Kami Maple. because it's a special occasion. I'm gonna be using Miss Laura Mercier. I love her. Oh, I actually jumped into this super late. Don't come at me, but I did. I'm not gonna bake too, too much. And go under where we put that cream bronzer. I do wanna give you a couple of pointers now because we do have that liquid or that cream bronzer under, we don't wanna go in and just go back and forth because it will one, 
make it ashy and two, make it make it move. We don't want anything to move. So I like to dab, 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 take away the excess and then just stamp it. For blush, my Alamani Cosmetics. I love Alamani. They're killing it. They're coming out with collection after collection and yeah. I'm just gonna stick to the middle shade con Fruta Bomba. And again, I'm not swiping left or right. What I'm doing is literally just like flickering it on. We're gonna highlight the face. I'm gonna be using my Dose of Colors Katie X Desi or Desi X Katie, I forget. Um, highlighter in the shade Mirame. Okay, I'm back. Ooh, that shrimp scam B. That was really good. My Steve Laurent lip liner in Chic. And then for liquid lipstick, I'm gonna go in with Let's Cuddle by Dose of Colors. I'm gonna set the whole face one more time with my all nighter spray. We are ready! So excited. I didn't think I was gonna pull off the hair and the makeup. I did it. I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna bring you along with me. I really truly don't know how much I can film, but I'm gonna try my best to take you along because I'm so excited. I know this whole like lighting situation isn't it, but we had fun. Super cold, but we got it. Cannot wait to see the shots. And yeah. <laughs>